Hey guys, I'm Anisha Gupta and we're putting CBDCs on table today and the finance minister in the budget 2022 announced the launch of India's own digital currency by RBI in FY23. That will be based on blockchain or other technologies. But with this, India will join countries that have their own central bank digital currencies or CBDCs that refers to the virtual form of fiat currency. RBI has been working on modalities for central bank digital currency for some time now. As cryptocurrencies and stable coins become popular, the world's central banks have realized that they need to provide an alternative or let the future of money pass over them. The global crypto asset users have been on an uptrend. In 2016, there were 5 million users. 2018 saw it at 35 million users. By 2020, we were already notching 100 million users. And by the end of 2021, this figure doubled and more to 220 million users and still counting. Thus, the rush for CBDCs. CBDCs refers to virtual form of fiat currency. It's a centralized form of currency issued, regulated by the central bank and can also be seen as an electronic record or digital token of country's official currency. The goal is to provide users with convenience and security of digital as well as regulated reserve bank circulation of the traditional banking system. So CBDCs are designed to function as a unit of account, store of value and medium of exchange for daily transactions. Well, as per the data in January 2022, 9 out of 91 countries have launched the digital currencies already. 16 are piloting the project as we speak, 17 are in development phase and 43 countries are at various levels of research phase with India being one of them. China, as always, continues to lead in this sector as well, with the digital renminbi as the first digital currency to be issued by a major economy. By the end of 2021, the digital yuan had 261 million users, up from just about 21 million users at the end of June 2021. Although its share of China's digital payment market is still small, notching to about $8 billion in transactions over the past six months. And then there are types of CBDCs and various countries are talking, discussing and debating on this as well. There are two types of major CBDCs, wholesale and retail central bank digital currencies. Well, the RBI is understood to be looking to launch a specific purpose CBDC in the wholesale and retail segments. The government through Niti Aayog is reaching out to various stakeholders including banks and discussing exactly that. And then the purpose of CBDC would also be about interoperability and cross-border payments which are being tested in countries like UAE, China, Thailand, Hong Kong, Singapore, Malaysia, Australia and South Africa. As you can see within these countries as well, it clearly is Asia that seems to be leading this kind of a research. While there are a lot of advantages of the CBDCs, there are some not so strong advantages as well, but we will discuss both those types to the pros first. And it simplifies the implementation of monetary policy and government functions. We did hear the finance minister also saying that this is going to be the efficient and cheaper way of putting in monetary policy and regulating as well. It also eliminates the third party risk. It's a direct real time transaction. It also calibrates the privacy features. It also allows the inclusion of the unbanked and does prevent the illicit activity also. And then there are some concerns, debates and issues with the CBDCs. It does not solve the problem of centralization, something that the markets have been working on. And then as a user, you may have to give up on the degree of privacy because when you are on the digital land of it, every transaction that you make, one would be of course real time. But on the other side, you can't be keeping, holding or the cash economy actually lessens down because everything that you do would be on record here. There are some legal and regulatory issues which are a black hole right now and various countries are working on this. And this could substitute a weaker country's currency is something that could be a bit of a concern when you come on it.